Okay, let's practice calculating image sizes based on a known output device. So let's calculate image sizes in this case for print documents. If we know the number of pixels in an image, we can determine the maximum output size in inches for a print or web-based document. For your homework and your quiz this week, you will have to be able to identify what the resolution is. It will not be given to you. So an example from the homework might be, how big would an image that's printed be if you knew the pixels were 1200 by 1800? Okay, so the formula you're going to use for calculating image sizes for print documents is the number of pixels across to horizontal by the number of pixels vertical, both divided by 300, because 300 is printing resolution. So let's do an example. If an image is 9,000 pixels across and 6,000 pixels tall at 300 ppi, how large is the image in inches when printed? In this case, I gave you the resolution, but please remember that for your homework, you won't always be given the resolution. So our formula would be 9,000 divided by 300, which creates a 30-inch image, and 6,000 divided by 300, which creates a 20-inch tall image. So the biggest I could print this image is 30 by 20, which is a pretty decent size. Let's do one example on your own. Please take a minute to calculate the size in inches of this image. When you're ready, push play again, and I will go through the answer. Okay, so number two, if an image is 1,350 pixels across and 1,950 pixels tall at 300 ppi, because I'm going to print it, how large in inches will it be when printed? 1350 divided by 300 creates a four and a half inch wide image, and 1950 divided by 300 creates a six and a half inch tall image. The same thing can be applied for web documents. This time you would divide by 72. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, you are allowed to use cheat sheets on your exam. I have said that many times in the slideshows. So just to recap, you are allowed to use cheat sheets on your exams as long as there are no numbered examples. So this right here would be perfectly acceptable for your cheat sheet if you just could not include something that looks like so. Also, if you're planning to use a cheat sheet for your exams, you have to have it approved by me. If you're taking it with me in my classroom, you can bring the cheat sheet to the exam. If you're taking it with the testing center or in the open lab hours, you have to email or send me through the inbox the cheat sheet 72 hours in advance. I'll approve it. I'll make any corrections and send it back to you. When it's done and approved, I will take it to the testing center or to the lab aid, depending on where you tell me to take it to, and they'll have it for you when you come and take the exam. Okay, so back on task. When we calculate the size of images in inches for web documents, we take the number of pixels and divide it by 72 because that is standard web resolution. So our first example here, we'll take the same numbers. Uh, if an image is 9,000 pixels across and 6,000 pixels tall at 72 ppi, how large is that image in inches? 9,000 divided by 72 is 125 inches, and 6,000 pixels divided by 72 is 83 inches. So it is one very, very large image. You need a giant display device to view it. Practice number two on your own. Press pause on the video, and when you're ready, press play again, and I will go through the answer. Okay, so number two, if an image is 1350 pixels by 1950 pixels at 72 ppi, how large is that image in inches? 1350 divided by 72. I have the wrong answer in my slideshow. Ignore that. Uh, let's do it together with the calculator. So I have an image that is 1350 pixels across divided by 72, which is 1875. Go to Photoshop and write that down. So this image will be 18.75 inches.
by 1950 pixels divided by 72 pixels per inch by 27.08 inches across. When you come up with a decimal, for our class you can round to two decimal places for every single assignment. So in this case 27.08 to round to the second decimal. I would look at the second decimal and go back one. If this number here, this three, is five or more, the eight would become a nine. If it's four or less, it stays the same and I can get rid of all the threes. So this image should be 18.75 inches by 27.08 inches if we view it on a display device.